Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video and wow, before I get into this game, wow, what a win. Before I get into it, I just want to say apologies for not streaming once again. Obviously, I, I very unlikely can stream Saturday games. I'll be streaming again Tuesday night though for Cardiff, so make sure you do not miss that. But wow, as you can see by the title, we have overcome ex-Premier League team Watford. We've beaten 1-0. Via a absolute screamer from Alex Mawat. Wow, get in. I've seen the video and what a goal that is. Obviously, I haven't watched it because like I could say if I would have watched it, I would have streamed it. But I'm busy on Saturdays. Um, obviously, while we can't go to the games. If we was going to the games, I would be there, obviously. But I'm going to read the match report because I obviously haven't seen it. I've seen the goal, but it sounds of it. We put the ball on the back of the net. I reply well for the rest of the game. Our defence has been solid. I'm going to read this and I'm going to give you my thoughts on the game after. Barnes have recorded a back-to-back -back victories as they na narrowly edged out Watford at Oakwell on Saturday afternoon. Alex Marwatt's thunderous drive proved to be the difference between the two sides in a game of few chances as Valerine Ismail continued his fine start to life in South Yorkshire. The Reds made two changes from the midweek victory over QPR, with Patrick Schmidt coming in for injured Colin Woodrow and Matty James replacing Clark Adore. And we won without Woodrow, just to say that, I'd even mention that. That's incredible, boys. Barnsley made the perfect start when Alex Mauer intercepted a loose pass in the centre circle, drove at the visiting back line and crashed an unbelievable strike into Ben Foster's top corner that clipped the inside of the post on the way in and just over five minutes play. What a screamer that was, Alex. Usually people criticise him for his shooting, but his last two shots have flown into that top corner, so you can't criticise him. After weathering a Watford storm, the Reds pieced together a fine moves, move as Mowat fired a lovely cross ball to Conor Chaplin, who found Dominic Fraser on the edge of the box with a first-time cushioned layoff, but the Austrian had blazed over. Another slick passing move on the right flank saw Chaplin release Callum Britton with a neat flick. The fullback burst clear of his man and pulled the ball back to Chaplin, who had continued his run, but Foster was able to gather his low shot down to his left. The Hornets railed. Rail before the interval, but were unable to find a way through the spirited Reds back line as the host went into the break 1-0 up. Half time, we were 1-0 up. Watford looks much brighter after the restart and had a glorious opportunity to level just before the hour mark. Ismail Assar raced away from the substitute Adar and fired a terrific low ball across the box, but Tom Cleverley somehow blazed the wide, blazed wide on mark from six yards out. Moments later, Ben Wilmot headed a very headed narrowly over the bar from a corner as the visitor had continued to probe. However, Barnsley still had their chances and George Miller introduced from the bench, latched onto a wayward header but could only skew his half volley wide of the post. Midway through the second half, Wilmot came agonisingly close to an equaliser for Vladimir Isic's side. His downward header bounced up and over Jack Warren's goal but much to relief of the home dugout. Watford threw cushion to the wind and introduced Andre Gray and Will Hughes. They're some massive players, just, just to put that out there, as they search for a late leveller, but to no as veil as the Reds held on for a superb victory. Wow. Just going to quickly read you the team. We had Watland in net, the usual back three of Solbauer, Helic, Britain, and then Styles were on the other wing back, Britain, like I say. James and out in the middle, Freezer, Schmidt and Chapman up front. No Woodrow and beat him. Incredible. Adoa came on for Britain after 46 minutes. I'm not sure if that were tactical. Britain were getting outplayed. Britain were hurt. I'm not sure. Herbie Kane came on for James in the 73rd minute. And then Miller replaced Schmidt in the 58th minute. Not used, obviously, goalkeeper Collins, Harme, Thomas and Simoes. For them, let me just read you this team. Foster in net. What a keeper. Feminia, I'm not sure who he is. Will Martin were class for Swansea last year. Troost, Ekond, I'm not sure who he is. I think he was a new signing. Kafka, Sema, Saar, Cleverly, Coupe, Chalaber, and Jao Pedro. They are some incredible players, and we've kept them to nil. I am absolutely buzzing with that. They also brought on Andre Gray. What a player. I think he's played for England. What a player he is. And Ghana. Then they have Betchum, Nakakia, Casabelli, and Quina. Sorry for pronouncing any of them's wrong. But yeah, that team that they had on paper there is incredible. And what a win that is from the Reds, just to hold out. Like, usually, we all, we, how many times have we gone one nil up this year and then thrown the lead away? It's been countless times. But to go in the lead early and hold on for the whole game is a spirited performance. We're up to 10 points, just below mid-table. We're four points away from that drop zone. That's all that matters. We can start climbing the table. This new manager started beautifully with two wins out of two. We've got Cardiff on Tuesday, who lost to QPR, who we beat. So, there we go. That's a winnable game. And then after that, we've got Derby and Forrester, who are both 
in a poor run of form. Derby were on count to beat Bournemouth, but then conceded a late equaliser. Forest are not looking good for the calibre of players they have. I'm sure Chris Shooter will turn it around because he's a great manager. But there we go, guys. We beat Watford 1-0. Let me know your thoughts on the game in the comments. I'll be streaming Tuesday night, so don't miss it. Subscribe if you're new. We're on the road to 2.2k. I appreciate every one of you. See you on Tuesday. Make sure you join the stream.